Many of you have heard me say it before, and I really don't think it can be said enough. On these machines with the automatic presser foot lift, that's the button that looks like this, you really need to lock your machine. So I'm gonna unlock it. This is what I mean by that automatic presser foot lift. That foot goes down, it comes up. The connection between the presser foot lever here, we've always been taught to thread our machines with the foot up in the air. That connection is not as direct anymore. So while I've got the foot up in the air, the tension discs may still not be open to their fullest and we want them open so the thread can come between them and get proper tension. So the way to do that is to lock the machine. It does lower the foot. It opens up the tension discs and a added benefit is you can also raise the foot extra high when you've done this by pressing the foot up button, it will raise up and it's a good way to do when you're going to do your uh, changing out any of your needle plates or changing out feet if you need a little extra room in there. I'm gonna put it back down, it is locked and now I'm going to go ahead and thread it. So the M7 has a built-in two spool or cone thread stand on it. It is not an attachment, it is solidly built into the machine. And this is fabulous for our cones of thread that are getting to be more and more popular on the um, in the industry, as well as spools that are cross-wound. Hopefully you can see this is a cross-wound spool. That is different from this straight wound spool. Anything that is cross wound loves to have the thread come right up over the top without any kind of spool cap on it. So we just place the spool or cone in this instance and this thread stand here at the top is a little different than some of our other thread stands in that it is very much like a serger thread stand. So we're gonna come from around the top. We're gonna wrap around and go through that next hole. And that is very much like a serger does. It helps take extra kink out of the thread. We're gonna come down here to the loop here on the base of the machine. If you are in a hurry, you can try just slipping it through there without doing the wrapping, but that is the proper method right there. Then we're gonna move over here to our next guide. I know threading the machine can seem a bit simplistic, but so many issues with the machine is brought about by improper threading. Whether it was threaded the first time properly, or something has changed while you've been sewing or not. So we're gonna use two hands. I always say threading a machine is a lot like flossing teeth. You've gotta do it with two hands. If you have to, imagine that this is a tooth on a monster. We're gonna come here to the number four slot, down and back around, and I'm using both hands. That's gonna ensure that my thread is going to go into the tension discs properly, and it's also gonna snap into the hole on the take-up lever. And I'm coming down, and we're going to readjust the camera so that you can get a good look at threading the needle and using the needle threader. So we've brought the thread down. At this point, I don't need to use both hands. I can take my right hand away from there at the top of the machine. And I'm gonna come down in here at the top of the needle. It's very important at the top of the needle here, we don't stop right here. Let's zoom in on that. This is not the final position for this thread. We wanna pull it all the way over to the left, far over as it will go, and then we're gonna bring it up into the jaws here of the needle threader. Give it a good tug. I want you to see 
right in here how deeply that thread goes into those jaws. It's very important that you give it a good tug. Once it's into the jaws of the needle threader, I'm going to bring it over to my thread cutter and I'm cutting it. Let's get that a better look. I'm bringing it around the back and cutting it. It will hold the thread and cut the tail. And then I'm gonna use the lever on the right. And I always tell people to push it down with authority. And it will be threaded. So let's do that again. All the way to the left. The jaw of the needle threader, the cutter, down firmly and pull. It's all a friction-based system. So if you pull the lever down kind of gently, you're going to release some of that friction and the thread's not gonna go where it really needs to go. You don't wanna bang on it, but it needs to be done very firmly. Now, if you put the thread on the far left of the top of the needle, and pull it into here and notice something is wrong or you realize at this point you have forgotten to lock your machine and you need to take it out. You wanna be very careful right here when you pull it out of the jaws. I recommend putting your finger up here and pulling it out of the jaws rather than yanking it off to the side. And then you can unthread and redo it as needed top of the needle, jaws of the th needle threader, cut, pull down, pull your loop through. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.